Hey guys, I am deep in southwestern Pennsylvania, almost in West Virginia, standing in a field of ramps, one of my favorite spring edibles. It's one of the first plants to really get excited about in the springtime when you're foraging. So for my first video, we're gonna be talking about one of the first spring exciting edibles called the ramp or ramsons or wild leeks, depending on what area you're at. All, of, all that green over my shoulder there is mostly, mostly ramps. Now these are broad-leaved onions in the Allium family. This particular species here are the red-necked version um, called Allium trichocum. Now you're gonna find ramps in kind of bottomland areas, not necessarily swampy areas, but close, real loamy soils. So sometimes you'll be walking through these lowland areas. We got a creek right over here to our left. You'll be walking through and you'll see these big field of, of green, it almost looks like lilies with the broad leaves. But sometimes you'll be able to smell them even before you really find the patch. It's a real garlicky onion smell. All right, let's take a closer look here. Now when you're identifying ramps, typically they're gonna have two or three leaves. This one just has two really broad leaves here red stems, and the bulb is gonna be fairly deep down on the ground. It's a little hard to dig out without a, a trowel, um, but that's no matter, you don't need the bulbs. So now the ultra sustainable way to harvest ramps is to just take one leaf off of each plant. Now the leaves are the tastiest part of this plant anyway, so this is what you want. You're gonna take this home, you're gonna slice it, put it in a saute pan with butter, top your morning eggs with it, that should be the first recipe you try with ramps because that's the best way, in my opinion. Um, also, you can make some awesome pestos. Um, you can top your salads with them. When they're fresh, they're pretty intense. And you're gonna have some good, pretty good breath going. Another good rule of thumb with ramps, even in a big patch like this, I try to go with the little here, little there method. Um, so you're gonna wanna pick Pick some here, and move over here, grab some from over here, and just keep moving around. That way you're not decimating the whole patch, and it has a chance to catch up next year. So you're going to want to leave most, if not all, of the bulbs behind. If you do take a couple bulbs, make sure you're in a big sustainable patch and you are gonna bring them home and maybe plant them in your own yard. That's the best way to be very sustainable with ramps. Plant your own, get your own little um, garden going. I have a few planted in my yard. So keep in mind while you're out here and you're practicing sustainability with your ramps, it takes a single ramp seven to 10 years to grow to a full plant from seed. And this is why we want to keep those bulbs in the ground for the most part. It looks like an unlimited resource, but you could really put a herd on this patch. Go ahead and snack on one while you're out here though. That's the best part of ramping, getting that good garlic breath going. Go home and kiss the wife. All right, one last thing about ramps, look-alikes. Now, Lily of the Valley can look similar to ramps um, to the untrained eye. They don't have the red stems. They do have kind of a broad leaf that's similar to the ramp. So basically the easiest way to assure that you're not bringing home poison is to make sure you know that it smells like onion. If it smells like onion or garlic, you know you have the Allium family and those are all good to eat. If it does not smell like onion or garlic, you're gonna wanna toss that. All right, so make sure you're harvesting those ramps sustainably and I'll talk to you next time. Maybe while I'm out here, I'll run into some morels and we can talk about those. All right, see ya.